everybody and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 2 and today we are continuing on our Empire campaign here for Sigmar in the name of the Empire here with Karl Franz, Volkmar yes. the Grim, Bathazar Gelt, Boris Todbringer and all all the whole the whole gang the whole gang is here uh, the whole the whole Scooby gang uh, last time we left off uh, some some cool stuff happened uh, chaos showing up in the chaos waste uh, ready to start wreaking their their havoc upon the world. Um, and we started finishing off some some other loose ends, and uh, did did some other quest battles and, and some stuff. And uh, before we get too far uh, into it, we got the Four Sigmar trait here to look in. Another cool thing from uh, SFO here. Want to pop that down on Volkmar the Grim real Sigma quick. Nice little follower uh, valet. That isn't that isn't too good. Oh, militia man. No, but because you're not going to be sitting back anyways. No, uh, let's see. Where where is he? Where is our our boy? Um I think it's like Kosar. Okay, I'll, I'll, look, I'll look for him later. Um, yes, uh, last time we left off, uh, some cool things happened. Now, I, I do have to address something real quick before we get too far in. As you might uh, notice, some things are a little bit different. You might look the tur uh, current turn numbers a little bit different. That's because I did a session, and the recording of that session did not uh, actually save. The Chaos Gods decided to uh, uh, just get rid of that footage, so... We are, we are a little bit further along than last time. Marcus von Sigurd's army is completed here. Got a cool little Knights of Moor army. I took him up to go raid some Norskins. And uh, we'll go ahead and, and raid some more here to, to show off his army here. We can go and get some fell cargo as well. Um, some, some chaos came down. We fought them off. I finished off uh, Bathazar Gelt's quest battle. Uh, let's get arms and armor. Heavy iron. Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, Bathazar Gelt's quest battle is finally done, so, you know, we're finally past that. You have Volan's staff, he just has to return to Altdorf real quick in order to, uh, retrieve it. And then he can finally have his, his whole skill tree, uh, completed up, his new army is ready to go. The Hellstorm rocket batteries, um, uh, were the key to winning that, along with retreating into a back corner. They're able to blob them up. Uh, eviscerate them with some Hellstorm rocket batteries and just spam down spells with Gelp. It turned out pretty well. Um, and we started pushing back the Skaven here. We took uh, Troll Country, took in, taking Arangrad here with Volkmar the Grim. We fought a little bit of Chaos. One army came down here, but uh, for the most part, uh, Kislev has, has seen them off here. And I, I've only seen like one or two uh, so far. But, you know, I, I'm sure that'll, that'll change as as we go along here, Summon but yeah, we're gonna keep on, keep on moving along here. Go ahead and oh, move up for, for Ostrovok here. Lord Skrulk, come on, what are you doing? Uh, they're trying to rebuild all their territory here, but I don't think so. All, all this, all this Skaven territory, I wanna keep, keep them down, keep them down and out. I don't want, uh, I don't want Skaven becoming an issue along with chaos because they, they can be annoying they can use their little underway stance and, and run around you and you know start to start to cause some problems and, and that's not what we want at all anyways i hope you're all having a good uh beginning of your week definitely going to be exciting warhammer 3 dropped uh, at the end of last week been playing up some of my own we'll have a some series uh starting of that going up later for this week um don't worry the series will not be stopping uh for that my plan is to keep this one going i will be stopping the vampire coast one because it just hasn't been performing very well the interest isn't really there so i'll go ahead and stop that one place that one up there and then thinking of doing kislev and the uh the demon prince of uh chaos and divided uh in there instead and i think that'll that'll be good so we should have like three series going up roughly um no, well, let's take the prestige. So that we can keep on all going up and until this one runs out, and then we'll just go back to the two Warhammer series uh, until Immortal Empires drops, so whenever whenever that decides to drop. 
Um, it'll probably be a couple months before that gets bid? done, in all honesty. Uh, it took a while for it to come out for this mode as well, so, you know, we'll, we'll see. We'll just see how that goes. Alright, Wolfmar the Grim. Defender of the faith. He's ready to go, and, and I'll talk about more Hammer 3 when, once we get once we get to that to those videos. I'll I'll be I'll be having like a whole spiel, uh, be acting like uh, Volkmar when he's he's talking about Sigmar. Uh, once we get to there, uh, but honestly, Volkmar he can actually come up probably raid the Tower of Crack here. Uh, it doesn't have a defensive building, does it? No, not really. Yeah, you should be able to move in here and uh, just, yeah, crump these guys. Yeah, get out of here. Push these Norskins back and, yeah, just straight up raise it. Kind of put the hurt up on Norska because the more we kind of push them back, the more breathing room it kind of gives us. Uh, and, you know, getting a little bit of aggressive onto them will probably be uh, a good thing. Honestly, again, just a little bit of space created so that they're not sending as many raids towards us means they have to call recolonize their territory. It might be worth coming for these guys, but it looks no like Bretonia is actually coming up for them. Oh god, that's a bit of a scary army there, Luan Kurz. Three Grail Knights, three Questing Knights, a whole bunch of other Menagerie uh, units, and Grail Guardians. Oh god, I would not want to be the, in the Dark Elves position there, that's for sure. Um, and our, our captain here. Excluding Grey Swords, ooh. Damn, that's pretty good veteran training. All right, anyways, get your thing up, man. Where did where did chaos go, man? Two of their armies I know have been defeated over here, but that's about all. They took Crackdrack, so they they have a fortress there. It might be worth going up and getting rid of that. Chaos can occupy forts. They they did occupy Prague for a small period of time, but we kicked them out. They weren't able to occupy it for long. Looks like they have crack track. We can go and raise that. Volkmar can Volkmar go up and get rid of them. I mean, like, other than that, man. I'm not really sure where the other armies went. Like, Gizla's fine. It's not under siege. Hmm, just interesting. And now we're just waiting for Archaon's wave. And when that comes, we want to make sure that we... Uh, just lightning strike the three head armies as quickly as possible. And it looks like Chaos is almost already wiped out, which usually happens when you don't have uh, any type of multiplier on. But I think I fixed the three times a Chaos invasion. Uh, my load order was slightly off, so that was probably doing it. Okay, Nordland. Ooh, okay. Now comes some interesting uh, times. Uh, do we want to confederate with Nordland yet? I mean, we want to confederate what's left. So we have Nordland and Ost and uh, Ostermark here. Which one do we want to get first? Honestly, I guess it doesn't really matter. We Destruction and it. death precede your armies, great lord. Your power Perfect. is incalculable. It surely rivals even that of the Chaos Gods. Oh, hell yeah. Yes, sir. Ma'am. Alright, yeah, sure. We'll go ahead and... We'll go ahead and take Northland, why not? Uh, Ostrom, yeah, Ostromark has, has 10 fealty too. We just want to get them, uh, confederated, finish them up. Yes, Thedric Gosser here. Yeah, go ahead and get rid of all of your, all of your troops. We don't need them. Bam, there we go. Let us fall uh, random our... warrior priest, sorry, get out of here. I will marshal the men. Ooh, Emil Von, uh, ooh, jeez. A whole bunch of random armies. Okay, and then we can we can get up our our authority before. I trust no man. Uh, before we confederate Ostermark, that won't be too bad. Protector of the weak. God damn, they had a they had a lot of armies up. Holy, Portland, they were going for it. All right, Salzmund. Oh, he actually has a Cathedral of Sigmar up. That's not bad. Are there any special Nordland units? Well, might as well keep the special barracks. Why not? i uh, probably get rid of that. Uh, you don't need one of those. You don't need one of those because you have the special barracks anyways. Um, just uh, That can get some walls there. That would be good. The instrument of Sigmar's will. Okay. 
All right, Volkmar. Onwards. Push up to here, see if Skaven has a... Nope, nothing there. I guess we can search the ruins. Oh boy, a uh, an old one's puzzle. I hate these. You know what? That one. Sure. <laughs> okay. I just randomly guess I because I, I don't know. Emperor. I hate this puzzle so much that I don't, I don't understand them in the slightest. And I refuse to learn them. You know what? I'm going to be like a like an old person and just, you know, I, I just, I refuse to even try. Um, a Ludwig. You know what? You can get a Steam Combatant too because Volton also has that line. So we can just get Someone massive melee like defense counts. buffs if we ever are put onto the, uh, onto the defense, which would be pretty good. Let's see, Marienburg. Uh, you do need to go ahead and get some special stuff up. Like, you can get the Elf Town, the Elven Embassy in Marienburg. We can actually get some Elven units from it, which is pretty cool. And that provides them into the garrison as well. Alright, yeah, that seems good. Nolan. Uh, Nolan has actually finished its gunnery school, which is pretty good. That means we can actually get some steam tanks going. And since Bazaar Gelt's over here anyways... Uh, he might as well uh, swing on down and, and pick up some uh, uh, some steam tanks. There we go. Uh, Staff of Olens uh, has been acquired for Bathazar Gel here. Perfect, there we go. Do not waste Staff of Olens acquired well. and we can bring him on down. Now Gel can become a real, a real powerhouse caster. I mean, not like he already wasn't, but... Now, just to really uh, start uh, sending him into the stratosphere with his casting abilities. Oh, God. Just. It's just ridiculous what he's going to be able to do. Alright. Upgrade your scavenge. Now, what do we want to get rid of in order to get some steam tanks? I mean, we could. Um, could always get rid of. Uh, please don't onslaught. Get rid of one of our, our demi griff knights. Like, two of them are fine. And, like, one of our. Our Hellstorm rocket batteries, like two of them are fine as well. To get like two two steam tanks, which, I am that ready. wouldn't be too bad. Are you? How long do those take to recruit? Uh, four turns. Okay. We'll wait to garrison them up first, and then we'll we'll start recruiting up those guys. But all right, Marcus von Sigurd here. It's it's your time to shine. Go ahead, upgrade your. Speed of horse, make your cavalry as good as possible, because that's what you're all about here. Uh, upgrade our warrior priest here. Give him some more HP. And even our witch hunter here, he has his retinue ability, which is really cool. Alright, we're going to go ahead and uh, jump on in and see if we can't take down uh, this uh, Norskin horde. Bam, here we are on the snowy plains of Noska. Uh, here to face off against against uh, Ice Drake Fjord. Alright, and what this army is all about is is the knights here. These uh, beautiful black guard, the Knights of Moor. Looking very nice here. Got that, that beautiful black and gold going on. Very nice, looking very cool with their capes. Uh, one of the one of the few knightly orders that actually gets quite a bit of um, uh, mentioning in the novels. Uh, in fact, it's in the Witch Hunter uh, novels. I actually get to uh, read quite a bit about them because uh, you get to read the one-on-one -on -one duel. Uh, well, it's, it's a two-on-one -on -one duel, basically, that they have against uh, a vampire uh, that comes after them, and they actually almost beat them. That's that's how just badass these guys are. They can almost straight up take on vampires by themselves, which is pretty cool. Because they're all about, you know, venerating the god of the dead. So, any any undead creatures are basically their forte. But, I mean, they'll they'll do good enough against the forces of chaos here as well. Uh, they won't be picky to, to, you know, send the enemies of the Empire screaming. Okay, I don't want to select my hand gunners here. Alright, kind of centralize you guys here. Alright, and we'll actually keep oh, you, our, 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 our Grandmaster here, with our with our Cav, because that's just a little bit more fitting. I come on we can keep him, like, into the center. Ish. Of the formation, looking very cool. All of our, our beautiful knights. And then we also, of course, have a little bit of help from our nice Panther. Just to add that little bit of extra AP, they'll be nice against the, um, 
Ah, uh, the Marauder Champions the here. We got our Witch yours. Hunter, and of course our Warrior Priest. Uh, to back them all up here as well. And space out our boys a little bit, because they do have some Mammoths. And Mammoths are really good at punching through front lines. Show us the phone. So a little bit of extra space Great to protect our hand gunners ready. and great cannons here. And all right, we're now ready to go. All right, and our great cannons, we definitely want to shoot at those war mammoths. Also have our the witch hunter retinue spawning in here. And we're going to kind of uh, shift Let's our formation because they're coming at a weird angle. Norsko really likes to just spread the field as, as uh, far as possible. Um, which is usually pretty annoying. I, I hate it when the AI does that. It's going to lead to some weird situations. It's okay. Our great cannons are opening up on these mammoths here. They're nice big targets. And we got our Hammer of the Witches, which does have a huge bonus versus large of 300. So any shots that hits is going to hit extra hard. Okay, well, you see its HP starting to get flinked away here. Great cannons. Not the most accurate, though. They will be uh, they will be doing a, a good number here. Yes, All right, now the enemy is starting to come into to range of our handgunners. Marauders getting picked off here. Probably want to get rid of that Werekin. Oh, beautiful. Right, let's see here. Uh, definitely focus in on those guys. And let's get our cab over onto this right flank, because I think that's going to be the most pressing. Ready to hunt. Out of all Awaiting of them. Slay the all right, Witch Hunter Retinue, battle. I want you to get over here. Judgment. All right, pop down our, our cues. All right, perfect. Okay, let's get you Hell down into hammer. here as well. Rah! Witch Hunter Retinue, start shooting into that Feral Mammoth. Well, all right, Deathcaster. Now comes your time to shine here. Oh, well, this is a perfect purple sun opportunity here on this left flank. Oh, hell yeah, there we go. Perfect. Just hope it doesn't really go into our black guard. Uh, put them a little bit, but not not too badly. Which is good. And we can get down a nice soul blight here in the center. To help uh, get take care of these guys. Where is this war mammoth too, please? No and what's really cool, this witch hunter and you have these prayer of uh, of unbinding here, which can really help to take down because it reduces all of their resistances. Yeah, look how fast that guy can, can fall apart there. Right, pop down all of our buffs here. Warrior priest here in the center. All right, get these. Uh, you guys can actually get a nice, like, rear charge off here. Handgunners gunners now, like, uh, switch to those Marauder Hunters. Great cannons. Great cannons reform here. Get our cab to get some nice rear charges going on. Champion is over here on this flank. Getting, getting pulled over here by the Knights of War. Completely ran over. Over here, quite a big, quite a big old blob. Uh, nothing we can really do about that, unfortunately. The Warrior Priest over here to help break that, though. Over hand gunners yes, keep sir. on keep on whittling them down, and I think uh, the Norskin lines are are close to routing here. Not too much left. Yep, and there we go. Army losses is inflicted, and the last of their Marauder champions have been broken against the tide. And bam, just like that, our uh, our knights of more stand victorious once more against the forces of chaos.
bam, there we go. The forces of Ice Drake Fjord have been defeated uh, once or, uh, by, our, by our army here. Yeah, pretty good. Uh, Marcus von Sigurd, his army here is... Uh, it does pretty well. Go ahead and raise that to the ground, and then we can bring him on back to replenish up here. I'll probably upgrade these Nice Panther to great weapons, just because they're there to really add in the extra weapon strength and that AP uh, for, like, really heavily armored targets that the Black Guard can't pierce through. Black Guard just there to be that sturdy line of defense. I mean, 60 melee defense is pretty good. So they're just there to hold the line. And so if the uh, uh, Knight's Panther can go through and be that, like, hammer to crack through the enemy, uh, then that'd be good. All right, and our Death Wizard. Yeah, upgrade aspect of the Dread Knight, too. Why not? The only thing, maybe, like, these guys could upgrade as well the Knights some more. The only thing I'll worry about is they have, like, pretty low stash. 30 and 43 for M MA and MD is pretty low. Maybe, like, a, a Sword and Shield variant would be a little bit better. But they do have a really high charge bonus of 88. So it might be worth keeping around. Certainly better than uh, the 65 of this version, which I think is the Sword and Shield variant. But I'm not sure. It, I, it is a difference of mods. This from Sigmar's Heirs and this from the SFO. But you, you never really know. Right? Oh, I didn't re even realize that this version has uh, perfect vigor as well. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. All right. Um, Valton here. What do we want to uh, throw onto you? Uh, we got Physician up. I guess probably just a uh, Steam Combatant as well. I am Prince Keep on getting that up. Just get the... You know, compounding uh, buffs going. You know, you know he might might as well just a any advantage we can take, we definitely should. And you know what, we might as well like try and take out Hellpit here, and then solidify the Eastern All Blast. Because I mean, every every province that we can uh, we can weaken them on the is, is, is good. We can move up, take out Hellpit. And then that's gonna be like that Skaven Menace Stupid. pretty much dealt with, man. How should we proceed? Well, hopefully the plague will be over and done with before. Oh God, uh, before uh, chaos shows up again. But oh God, Crone, Bretonia, why are you going to war with? Why are you going to war with the Wood Elves? No, that is that is terrible. I'm actually gonna break my alliance with with Bretonia. I'm actually gonna break my alliance with Bretonia. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go to war with the Wood Elves. <laughs> Just straight up, I'm not gonna do that. You know, and I was considering taking over Bretonia's territories. They're not gonna like me for that, but I mean that's okay. I mean, they're the ones that wanted to go to war. My reliability of rating doesn't really matter at this point anyways. Like, we're so late uh, into the game that, like, diplomacy doesn't doesn't mean anything, really. Direct uh, I, want, I want you to come back around up to here and then wait out until Archeon's wave shows up. Light wizard. Uh, we can go ahead and... Yeah, well, light of battle just sucks. It's just terrible, straight up. Uh, we're going up to try to get potents up so you can get experienced uh, first. So, see. all right, and you can reach. So you're gonna sit right outside, and then Franz is gonna come up and calls. attack Throt here. Oh, and he wants to retreat. He doesn't even want to. He doesn't even want to fight. Not likely. Well, yeah, that doesn't that doesn't look good for Hellbit here then. <laughs> yeah, with uh, with Franz and uh, Volkmar working in tandem, Hellbit doesn't stand a chance. And uh, it, it's gone, baby. Hellbit, the home of the uh, Skaven, of the Skaven monstrosities and, and, and beasts of nightmares. Are uh, it, it's gone, bro. They're just it, it's just gone at this point. Hell yeah. I mean, there we go. There we go. That's, that's how you gotta do it sometimes. Alright, and um, we're almost to Franz's level cap, so we should think carefully about the final points we want to put in. And I'm thinking we should probably get one of these uh, one, one of these specializations. 
we can either go down for artillery, uh, for our like outriders and stuff, but it does increase our uh, movement range, which is pretty good. The vanguard, which is infantry and uh, and missile units, which is pretty good. Four knightly orders, which is pretty good. This is for cav. And out of all this, I'm probably thinking either the vanguard or artillery. We might, we might just we might just go for the watch here. Give me that that campaign movement range, man. Because Franz likes to be like everywhere, so him being able to move faster is probably for the best. So you'll go ahead uh, finish up Quell. Summon the Electric That'll be good counts. here. Uh, Volkmar can't get any of those because he's unholy decrees instead, uh, and the unclean ones are or what he's going so that he can uh, be better against the forces of chaos, obviously. Uh, Castle Templehof. No, we want to save money. Do not waste my potential. Save money here. Okay, you can come back out of here. Walk down to Distrafen. And we wait. Give me another turn of, of income. Then we can get our devotion to Sigmar Tech going. And that gives us a pretty powerful buff. Um, we can get a special uh, prayer ability for Sigmar. And they range from like a huge... Like uh, army spell that can wipe out a bunch of units, or a like a resurrection spell to basically completely revive a unit, or um, like a huge buff or debuff spell. There, there's some pretty good ones that uh, we can choose from when, once we get the tech done first, of course. Yeah, Warriors of Chaos are basically already dead, <laughs> which is good to see. You'll have to see. Also, I like how we're already back up to like 20k income per turn. Even with all the extra armies that we have going. Which is, it, it's good to see, man. It, it's really good to see. Alright, Devotion to Sigmar. Here we go. And of course, not not to mention just the the buffs that come with it. And we're, we're Sigmarite. Uh, Ulrich, that's also pretty cool. If you wanted to go down that route. And of course, they have their, uh, their buffs too that you can get. But we're all about Sigmar here. And yeah, you're going to see Wrath of the, Hel uh, the Helden Hammer. Uh, the Doom of Nagash, Safeguard the Black Gate, or Sigmar's Will here. Which is, um, they're all pretty good. And we'll look uh, a little bit closer at them once we get there. Bring me to my men. And bam, there we go. Oh, it looks like uh, Kislev is taking that back. That's fine. They'll they'll lose them once Chaos comes back. Right, you'll just you'll just chill up there. Alright, Franz. And Wolfmar is trying to come back. Will. Well, actually, they have a plague there. Don't want to catch that. <laughs> don't don't want to don't want to catch the plague there. Oh, there's there's a plague going on in the Norskin ranks. That'd be good. To strengthen the empire. Okay, well I don't want Boris Tardbergen to become a procrastinator here. So I mean, you could go up and raid Longship yes. Graveyard. This again, keep on putting the hurt on Norska. By Sigma's right. Keep on pushing, pushing them back here. This entire like coastline. I want, I want barren. I want empty. Yeah, they really don't like me, but it's okay. They'll, they'll, they'll get over it eventually. You know, it was their choice to go to war with the Wood Elves. I, I didn't force them into that. Uh, as it's just something I don't want. <laughs> I don't want to follow them into, man. Like the Wood Elves are genuinely scary, and I don't need uh, a war in, in the rear right now. <laughs> with uh, with with uh, Archeon showing up at any time, man. And because uh, the Wood Elves are genuinely scary, especially as as the Empire, because we don't have a lot of ways to directly counter them, right? Because uh, you know, as as the Empire, we're pretty pretty slow. And they they can take out our artillery pretty easily. With you know all the ranged options that they have, so that's yeah, just not something I want to get myself involved with, really. Our perfect devotion to Sigmar, born as the twin, uh, twin-tailed comet, blazed in the sky. Sigmar Heldenhammer united the tribes of the warring humans and founded the Empire. And according to the cult of Sigmar, was elevated to godhood. Hell yeah, and it has a whole bunch of good buffs there. And let's see, which of these we want? We can only pick one, so we have to, to think. Rather the Helden Hammer, 
um, is really good. Uh, it's it's kind of like um, Dark Conduit from the Dark Elves. Uh, triggers an explosion uh, around around one of your troops that uh, wrecks wrecks a whole bunch of enemies nearby and gives them a fifty percent ward save, which I mean can be pretty useful. Doom of Nagash uh, is pretty good. It gives um, a nice little buff and imbues banish, which is which is all right. Uh, safeguard the black that the black gate. This um, essentially. Uh, resurrects uh, dead combatants, and uh, <laughs> this essentially resurrects a unit, brings it back to uh, back to life. It resurrects dead models even, and replenishes six thousand HP, which is pretty good. And Sigmar's Will, which is a huge debuff for sixty seconds, minus ten leadership, and minus eighty percent uh, armor piercing missile and weapon damage, which is pretty good. The only problem is that it's only armor piercing. If it was like base, like all types of uh, missile and weapon damage, then it would be okay. But, um, no, only AP. But, I mean, that's still good, especially against, like, high high tier infantry. Out of all of these, I usually go with Safeguard the Black Gate. It's really good, and it can save you a unit. That if it's, like, almost dead, you can pop it on them. Um, and completely resurrect them. Uh, you know, it, it can save you a unit sometimes. But, like, honestly, I think we'll go with Wrath of the Hel Helden Hammer. I think that one's pretty good. I think that might that one might be able to do the most Grand damage field. out of any of them. All right, and Zoinks tier, um, yeah, probably go ahead and get a defensive building up here. All right, and let's go ahead. Uh, Bath is our Gelt's army you here. Go ahead, get rid of get rid of one of you. So, 